Florida defensive coordinator Charlie Strong headed to Louisville. This is in a flash presented by AT&T. What's going on? I'm Lauren Shahadi. Dennis Dodd, our college football columnist, here with us. Dennis Strong will replace Steve Cragthorpe following three disappointing seasons with the Cardinals. Now Strong has molded Florida's defense into one of the most dynamic in the country. Was this a good hire? Yeah, it was absolutely home run for Tom Jurich at Louisville. Um, they needed to get back on the national map after those three years you mentioned under Cragthorpe. And, and Jurich, the AD, just went for the best coach available. Their heritage and legacy kind of in recent years at Louisville is, uh, is offense, you know, under Bobby Petrino. But, you know, Charlie Strong will have a strong defense. He'll hire a good offensive coordinator. I fully expect this program to be back in the top 25 really, really soon. Charlie Strong, the fourth African-American coach hired since Thanksgiving. That's some progress, isn't it? That's a, a huge amount of progress. There are only 12 or 13 uh, minorities right now among the 120 Division 1A coaches, still not very good at all ratio, but it's telling me that now, you know, there, there is a movement happening for minorities to get head coaching jobs. They have to be coordinators and come up through the system, which is exactly what Charlie Strong has done. Uh, Mike London, the guy that got the job at Virginia, was a head coach at Richmond, the 1AA, but he had been a, a coach, a defensive coach at Virginia before that under Al Grove. So it's telling me that at least the move, movement in some some small way is working now. The, the minorities are still way underrepresented, I think, even at 10%. But uh, it, it's the system is working. There is a movement here. They're going in the right direction. What about the Gators? In the last two seasons, they've lost their offensive coordinator and their defensive coordinator. How will they fill those voids? Well, I think they'll be fine. I mean, you know, Urban Meyer... Uh, has a big hand in play calling anyway. But Steve Adazio was the offensive coordinator this year, an old-time friend of Urban Meyer, and I thought he did a pretty good job. I mean, the, you couldn't get over the fact that they had lost Percy Harvin and Lewis Murphy, and that kind of limited the offense. We saw all that, you know, we saw it in the championship game on Saturday, how few weapons it really has against a quality team. And that, that wasn't Steve Adazio's fault. So there'll be plenty of people out there. They may elevate from within the staff. You know, a, a guy like Dan Carney, who's a defensive line coach and a heck of a defensive coach, may be a candidate. They'll have no problem tracking candidates. Thanks for watching In a Flash, presented by AT&T. As always, we'll talk to you soon.